The film begins by showing a container truck that has just driven out of a well-known restricted area, Area 51. The truck is on its way to some place while being escorted by soldiers. From the conversations of these soldiers, it was shown that they did not know the contents of the containers they were delivering. On the other side, there is a newlywed couple that is enjoying their first day of marriage. The woman who was overjoyed gave her husband an infinite pleasure. Since the man was too enjoyed in the woman's actions, he didn't realize that the car he was driving had strayed from its lane. As a consequence, the married couple's car collides with the truck that transporting the mysterious container. The commander who led the truck convoy received a call from headquarters telling them to stay away from the container. However, before they could hear what the headquarters had to say, a mysterious creature suddenly came out of the container. The mysterious creature turned out to be Zombie, and he began to attack the soldiers there. After that incident, Zombie and the infected soldiers prepared to attack the city of Las Vegas. The city of Las Vegas, which has millions of citizens, has now turned into a city of zombies in just one night. The government was overwhelmed in its efforts to eradicate the zombie virus due to its rapid spread. The incident finally forced the government to erect a container wall around the entire city of Las Vegas with, leaving the zombies in the city. A few months later, a former soldier named Scott Ward heard the news telling the president was planning to bomb the city using a low-explosive nuclear weapon. Then, a casino owner, Mr. Tanaka, came to his workplace. He offers Scott the mission of retrieving his $200 million from a casino building in the dead city of Las Vegas. In detail, Mr. Tanaka ordered Scott to form a team to do the mission. And the team that participates will be rewarded a $50 million from the money that was successfully taken. The scene then switches to a quarantine facility inside the container wall. A woman named Gita was asking Scott's daughter, Kate, to look after her children. Gita says that she would enter the City of the Dead to find the treasure left there. She plans to enter the City of the Dead with the help of an insider, Lily, a border guard woman. Meanwhile, Scott suddenly had a dream about his past when he was forced to kill his own wife because she had turned into a zombie. After some consideration, Scott finally agreed to the mission which was previously offered by Mr. Tanaka. Soon after, Scott began to recruit the people he knew to join his team, which included Maria and Vander. They are former elite forces, and offered a reward of $15 million for each of them, including Scott himself. Then, the rest are Peter, a helicopter pilot, for $2 million, and a zombie hunting YouTuber, Guzman, for $500,000. Dieter, a safe-breaking hacker with a reward of $250,000, and the remaining money for emergency needs. After they finished recruiting team members, they immediately prepared their favorite weapons, which they would later use to deal with zombies. The next day, Guzman also brought his friends, Damon and Chambers to join the mission. Mr. Tanaka then proceed to explain his strategy in detail about the mission they were about to carry out. The plan was that after they all managed to break through the border wall, they would all break through all of the zombies until they reached the building where the safe was located. Once they had entered the building, Peters would then go to the rooftop to ready the helicopter. While the others will follow Dieter to the safe, where they will retrieve all of the, the money. Once it was all done, they would all go to Peter's place with the money. Plus, they will be accompanied by one of Tanaka's men who will keep an eye on them to ensure they don't take all of the money. They also have one day to complete the mission, before the government detonates the nuclear weapons over the entire city of Las Vegas. Later that night, Scott asked Kate to help him get in crossing the border. He offered Kate $15 million to pay for the children's schooling at the camp. In fact, Kate is a volunteer at the quarantine camp, and she may indirectly allows people to enter the dead city. The following day, they boarded the bus, and began their journey to the camp. When they arrived, they met with Lily, who would take them to the city of Las Vegas. Kate then realized that Gita, who had invited her to enter the city of the dead, has already left the camp. She then became angry, and immediately punched Lily in the face. It turns out that Lily had no idea that Gita had a kid, which led to her allowing Gita to enter Los Angeles. As a result, 
Kate asked to come with Scott in order to find Gita. Scott initially refused Kate's request. But after Kate threatens to go alone, Scott was forced to let his daughter to join the mission. Not only Kate, but Lily also asked Scott to add one more member, Bert, since she need Bert's help inside the city. They then started their mission and entered the zombie territory. Just as they entered the city, they suddenly heard a loud roar approaching them, which turned out to be the roar of a zombie tiger. They were panicked at first, but it turned out the tiger was merely passing by and had no intention of attacking them. After the incident, Lily immediately approached Bert and tried to ask for his gun. Then, once Bert gave her his gun, Lily suddenly shot him in the leg, claiming that they needed to offer sacrifices to the zombies. Maria thought that Lily had betrayed them all. But according to Lily, she did so because if they didn't give a sacrifice, they'd be dealing with zombies who were much smarter than the usual zombies, or commonly referred to as alpha zombies. Plus, the reason why Lily used Bert as a victim because he often did a bad things to the women in the quarantine camp. After hearing this, the rest of the team finally agreed to make Bert a sacrifice so they could pass through the city without being attacked by the alpha zombies. Not long after, the zombie queen and one of her bodyguards came, and immediately took Bert to go someplace. When Bert arrived to the building, he found himself surrounded by alpha zombies. Until one of the zombies known as the Zombie King arrived and turned him into an alpha zombie. After a long journey, they had to pass through a building to get to the building they were heading to. It turns out that there were a lot of zombies in there who had been hibernating or sleeping for a long time. Since there was no other way, they had no choice but to pass through a horde of zombies. Scott leads them through the zombies by marking a walkable path. However, while on the way, Tanaka's man, Martin, threw away the light sticks, causing Chambers who was behind him, to walk in another direction. Unfortunately, as she tried to get out of the zombies area, she accidentally bumped with one of them, causing the zombies to awake and want to attack her. Chambers tried to fight the zombies in order to get out of that place. But unfortunately, Martin then closed and locked the door, leaving Chambers trapped in the crowd of zombies. Guzman who saw the zombies attack then asked Martin about Chambers location. Instead, Martin said that he had no idea what had happened to Chambers. Not long after, Chambers suddenly came out of the window. However, because she had been surrounded by zombies, Chambers told Guzman to get out of there immediately. Guzman was also forced to shoot the gasoline that Chambers was carrying. After they reached their destination, Scott directed everyone to carry out their assigned tasks, with Peters and Maria heading to the building's rooftop to ready the helicopter. Martin and Lily were in charge of keeping the situation outside the building under control. The safe was to be opened by Vander, Dieter, and Guzman, while Scott and Kate were tasked to start the generator. Without any delay, they all immediately set off to carry out their tasks. Lily and Martin who were on guard outside suddenly provoked the appearance of the zombie queen for no apparent reason, in order for Martin to catch the zombie queen. The zombie queen's bodyguard who saw the incident attempted to attack Martin. But in the end, Lily managed to shoot and defeat the bodyguard zombie. It turns out that Lily did this to help Martin, who had been previously said that he need the blood of the zombie queen in order to do research of the blood. However, it seems that Martin has lied to Lily because his real purpose was to take the head of the zombie queen, so they could create an army of controllable alive corpses. When Lily saw this, she tried to warn Martin that if the zombie king managed to find the body of the zombie queen, their previous agreement would be in vain. On the other side, after Scott and Kate managed to switch on the generator, Peters and Maria quickly took the elevator to the rooftop while Vander and the others headed to place the safe was located. After getting to the safe, the three of them were confronted by several zombies until they finally managed to clear the whole place. After blowing up the gate, the three of them tried to look for several zombies that they would use as bait to release all the deadly traps. Once the traps were successfully released, Dieter began to use his skills to unlock the safe. Meanwhile, Peter seems to be having trouble starting his helicopter, which has been discovered to be damaged in several parts. Moreover, the helicopter caught fire while Peters was messing with the engine. 
At the same time, as they were watching the news, it turned out that the president had moved forward the date of his bombing by one day sooner than planned. This worried them all since now they just had an hour and a half to finish the mission before the city was blown up with a nuclear weapon. After hearing the news, Scott and the others went to the safe room, but their presence disturbed Dieter who was opening the safe at that moment, and he had to start over from the beginning. While waiting for Dieter to unlock the safe, they started counting the money they found in the building to distribute equally among the rest of the team. After waiting for a while, Dieter finally managed to open the door of the safe. They were all very happy when they saw the large pile of money in the safe. Scott then told Vander and the others to quickly put the money in the bag since they only had an hour left. He also didn't realize that Kate had already left and was on her own in search of Gita. The zombie king, on the other hand, eventually found the body of the zombie queen and brought it back to its base. Knowing that the child conceived by the zombie queen had died, the zombie king became enraged and ordered his entire army to attack the building where Scott and the others were doing their mission. When Scott realizes that Kate has gone to find Gita, he plans to find her with Maria. However, just as they were about to enter the elevator, the zombies suddenly came out and killed Maria. After Scott managed to defeat few of the zombies, they immediately looked for a way out of that place. But unfortunately, Martin just left them all locked up and walked away. When they realized what was going on, they tried to get out of there by punching holes in the wall with a chainsaw brought by Vander. Unfortunately, when Vander and Dieter were dispelling the zombies, suddenly the king of zombies came and was about to attack them both. They tried to shoot the zombie king in the head, but due to his iron helmet, they were unable to do so, forcing Vander to fight the zombie king with his bare hands. When the zombie king was about to bite Vander's hand, Dieter suddenly came and hit the zombie king, he then sacrificed himself to save Vander by bringing him inside the safe. Martin, on the other hand, tried to take the zombie queen's head as he was ready to go, but it turned out that Lily had previously swapped the zombie queen's head with money counter. Not long after that, the zombie tiger that was guarding outside suddenly attacked him. When Scott, Lily, and Guzman made it out of the safe room, they planned to go straight up to Peter's place. But, since the zombies were too close to them, they were forced to fight the zombies first. Unfortunately, Guzman was bitten by one of the zombies, so he killed himself by detonating all of the grenades in his body, so that Scott and Lily could escape from the zombies' attacks. When the two of them arrived at the rooftop, it turned out that the zombie king had caught up with them, so Lily was forced to take out the zombie queen's head to threaten the zombie king. She then told Scott to get on the helicopter right away. Unfortunately, the zombie king threw his spear straight through Lily's body. Lily then was forced to let go of the zombie queen's head, which eventually fell from the top of the building and was crushed. Meanwhile, Kate finally managed to find Gita who was being locked up by the zombie king in his headquarters. However, just as they were about to run away, zombie Bert suddenly came and bit one of them. After Kate managed to kill the zombie Bert, the king of zombies came, along with several of his men, and they immediately attacked Kate and Gita. Kate and Gita tried to fight the zombies until they finally managed to defeat them all. And now, there's just the zombie king left. When the zombie king was about to attack them, Scott suddenly came and fired his grenade launcher. Then, when they got to the rooftop, they thought that Peters had left, but fortunately, Peters still returned to save the three of them. However, they didn't realize that the zombie king was still alive and he managed to jump into the helicopter. Scott tried to fight the zombies but he was bitten before he finally managed to shoot the zombie king's head. Shortly after, a nuclear bomb flashed across the sky. And when the bomb exploded, the impact of the explosion swayed the helicopter. Until they had a serious accident. When Kate woke up from her unconsciousness, she realizes that Peters and Gita have died. At that moment, only Scott and Kate survived the accident. However, since Scott had previously been bitten by the zombie king, Kate was forced to shoot Scott in the head when he showed signs of turning into a zombie. After the nuclear explosion destroyed the entire building, it turned out that Vander was still alive and had finally managed to get out of the safe. After a long walk, 
He then picked up a car and planned to go abroad with several bags filled with hundreds of millions of dollars in cash. Before the film ends, Vander who was on the plane suddenly felt dizzy that he decided to go to the toilet. From there, he realized he had been bitten by the zombie king. And the film ends.